Hi, I'm Baz from the Fratellis, and uh, it's a real honour to be asked here by HMB to talk about some of my favourite records and bands and albums that inspired the Fratellis from when we started out to where we are now. So the first band I want to talk about is The Clash, and this album is London Calling. Um, the Clash are probably the first band that we collectively bonded over and, uh, and tried to really try to tap into that energy that we used to see from early Clash shows. We saw a connection in what uh, those shows were like and the, our shows at the time, you know, s small, sweaty, just fast paced, full of energy. Um, the songs in London Calling in particular, I've always loved the way that each track could almost, could have been its own genre. And that was a big influence on us selecting tracks for our first album, Costello Music. Um, reggae influences on this, um, the Clash obviously inherited them second hand. We in turn inherited them from The Clash. So a lot of people wouldn't automatically think of reggae influences in the Fratellis, but if you think of it from a Clash point of view, we were ripping off The Clash, they were ripping off reggae, therefore the Fratellis is full of reggae beats and influences. So The Clash, London Colin. Next is the police and depending on how you want to say it regatta de blanc regatta de blanc i've probably said it wrong but the police were another huge influence on us uh, particularly me and mince i'd always been aware of the police but it wasn't really till i started hanging about with him and he showed me these amazing clips from the police when they started out uh, just fast tight melodic three-piece punk tunes and uh you know, the connection between Sting and Stuart Copeland is something that me and Mince have been trying to emulate ever since. And um, also we were lucky enough to support the police on their reunion tour in the States. So the police uh, have always got lots of good memories for us. So Next is The White Stripes. This is obviously the recently released Greatest Hits album because uh, I can't quite place my hands on any of my other White Stripes vinyl, it's in there somewhere. But the White Stripes have always been a massive influence on us, um, particularly because around right about the time when the band was starting, we saw them live for the first time, a good few times together. Uh, and at a particularly earlier time, after a rehearsal in my house or something, I think we were sitting watching TV and watching their headline set at Glastonbury. And uh, we were all sitting chatting, dreaming that we would up, be up there one day. And lo and behold, a short time later, we were up in that very same stage doing what they were doing. So you can't go wrong with any White Stripes album, in my opinion. And uh, it was a shame to see them sort of throw the towel in. But uh, the White Stripes are just amazing. So long live them. I've realised it's all been a bit classic rock with these selections, but... At the end of the day, that's who the influences are, so that, that's what we're getting here. So, my favourite band of all time, The Who. This is Live at Leeds. Possibly the greatest live album of all time. Um, Fratellis that are live, are, you know, we thrive on playing live. Uh, and this album just says it all. So if you want to get geeky and technical about it, just to the sound of John Entwistle's bass in this album, that's something that I've always tried to to emulate as well and just the passion and songs and well it's the who what else can you say so check out the who live at leeds next up in uh, baz's classic rock five minutes is led zeppelin this is the first led zeppelin album um again massive influence led zeppelin are probably the only bands that we would if we're in a sound check or rehearsal or whatever and someone picks up a tune and starts playing they're probably the only band that we would actually all jam together um john paul jones has always been a massive bass player of influence on me john bonham is one of mince's heroes john gets to be robert plant and jimmy page all rolled into one um how many more times is a song that we particularly uh, play to and we used to walk on stage to that actually quite a lot so they were always regarded as back in the day anyway led zeppelin heavy metal whatever i don't think of led zeppelin as heavy metal at all i just think of them as an, an amazing rock and roll band so if you look for somewhere to start on led zeppelin start at led zeppelin one 
So that was my five uh, favourite albums currently today. I wouldn't get out of here without mentioning the Fratelli's new album, Half Drunk Under a Full Moon, it's out on Friday the 2nd. And uh, the lovely people at HMV have got an exclusive pink vinyl version, which you should definitely check out. Thank you very much. Cheers.